Hey recruiters, are you ready to make some money off of ChatGPT? This video is gonna go over how you can be successful doing business development with ChatGPT. See you there. Hey, welcome to The Millionaire Recruiter. I'm Brianna Rooney, your Millionaire Recruiter. If you have not seen this channel before, it's all about making you the next Millionaire Recruiter. So let's get to it. So I have been asked many of times, not only from you amazing subscribers, thank you so much, uh, but also from my own team. When are you going to talk about chat GPT? Okay. Uh, I waited a little bit longer than normal because I feel like everything I put on, this, on these videos and these channels I have to be an expert at. I have to feel really strongly that my advice to you is really going to help move the needle. So, took a little bit. Now I have fully embraced ChatGPT for everything to do with all four of my brands. So that's the podcast, Talent Takeover Unfiltered. It's Talent Perch, which is the recruiting company. It's Thriversity, which is the learning development. And then now, as I'm helping others with the Millionaire Recruiter Program start their own agency, which by the way, if you are ready for that, check out, uh, click the link below here. But um, I'm just, it helps in everything. <laughs> and it even I even helped my brother who's looking for a job right now I use it to, to help them with that. So um, it's powerful and it's time to really embrace it. But here's the thing, recruiting is a people business and it will always be a people business. So I actually wrote an article um, where I asked ChatGPT, will essentially bots, will AI ever take over recruiting? And boy, did it say no. <laughs> There's a lot of human aspect that is still and will always be in this job, um, which is exciting because that means you will always be making some serious cash doing recruiting, right? Uh, but you do have to move with the times and it's important to understand uh, what tools are we gonna use? How are we gonna use them? And how are we still going to remain us? Because that's the whole thing. Like you don't wanna use this bot to then represent you in biz dev, for example, and all of a sudden you're on the phone with this client because it worked and then they, it's very clear that that message really wasn't from you. And I think that people can, um, they want the human touch, they wanna to resonate with you, they wanna work with people who they like, which you'll see that a lot in my videos, I talk about that a lot. Uh, so please make sure that you are learning how to do the prompts, you are learning how to be you, and you are rereading them. And even putting your own thoughts in there. That's super important. This is not to all of a sudden now a monkey can do your job, now a bot's doing your job. This is how am I going to enhance and make more money and do it faster because it's all about being fast, but it's all about being efficient and it's all about being real and authentic. So I am going to share screen right now. If the anticipation is getting crazy, I'm gonna share a screen. And um, if you do watch the, uh, see me every week, thank you very much, then you do know that what I do is just off the cuff, okay? So when you watch my share screen, no, I have not tried this before. You can probably even see it on the, on the side of my screen. I'll show you what I have tried. Um, and I'm just going to do just sequences, catchy titles, um, connection request messages, and I'm gonna use ChatGPT to do that. And so uh, hope you like it, have fun, do your own, play with it. All right, here we go. As promised, chat GPT, it is fresh right here. So no, you can see all of the side things I've already done. Um, so let's just get into it, right? Now, what we're using this for is biz dev. Here we go. What has to happen when you're doing biz dev? You need to have really catchy subject lines. How am I going to do that? Right? catchy subject lines, exactly what I'm saying for biz dev. We'll just start there really quickly, right? So they're going to come with a few. Sometimes you have to prompt them to do 20. <laughs> like I say they, like it's a thing, it's a person. Uh, but here we go. It gives me 10. Okay. I like it. Well, they're not bad. So, but now I need to prompt this for recruiting. Those are great. I like to give, you know, just compliments. Now give me 
for recruiters getting clients. Let's see what happens. Ooh, talent is waiting. Let us help you find the right fit. Unlock the power of exceptional talent with us. I'm liking it. Ooh. So I actually personally like to give 20, but it's already coming up with 10. Not bad, right? I like it. So sourcing top talent made easy with our recruitment services. Ooh, I like this. Now, here's what I like to ask ChatGPT, even though they say, we can't tell you this. I say, what do you think has the best click? But first and foremost, I want it to talk about me, myself. So what am I going to do over here? I'm going to go on LinkedIn really quickly. I'm going to grab, because I don't know it off the top of my head, although I should. What is my profile? Here we go. I'm going to bring it over here. Now, make these based on me and my companies. Let's see what, let's see what it says. Let's see if this works. Oh, with B Marie. <laughs> so remember with ChatGPT, you know, it's a bot, right? And this is actually exciting. It's exciting to kind of see you break the bot. Um, but yeah, of course. So you could obviously just take this out, unlock your potential with B Marie, because that's what it is. Let's work together, revolutionize your business. Um, well, so I'm talent perch. So I want to say redo these with my company. And I'm going to put my URL just so they really know who I am. Let's see, let's see what this old chat GPT does. Unlock your talent potential with Talent Perch. Revolutionize your team with Talent Perch's recruitment solutions. Now keep in mind, Talent Perch is one word. They made it too. So by all means, remember you are reading this, you are doing this. Uh, transform your business with Talent Perch's top tier talent acquisition. So what's great about this, and I won't dig into it now because I know the main point of this particular video, and I know I'll do more, is for biz dev. Okay. But what's great about this, and I did this before, you'll see this over here where it says work with Brianna. Um, I wanted to see what ChatGPT thought of all of my websites. So Talent Perch, Diversity, Millionaire Recruiter, um, my LinkedIn. I wanted to see like, am I presenting myself in the best light? Does a bot understand what I do based off of essentially my SEO? What is, what is on my site? doesn't learn from that. And it's really, really, really important. So that's a whole other subject. Um, but this is good. But now I feel like what's, what's going to have the most clicks, right? Which one would get the most clicks? And this is where they're going to tell you, well, I can't really tell you that, but that's okay because they're still going to give us examples, urgency, exclusivity. I like that exclusive offer, maximize your business potential. Oh, see, I'm liking all these titles. You go to source, uh, unlock the power of partnership with Talent Perch for exponential growth. I like that. All right, now tweak those for a tech recruiter getting, ah, getting clients. Let's see if that's going to work. Top tech, tech recruitment. Okay. Limited. I don't definitely don't like the limited time offer. Yeah. So some are great. Some are okay. Don't settle for mediocre tech talent and talent perch find you the best. Like it. I like it, but I still think, think they're very long. Um, now shorten them up, shorten them up, but keep them powerful. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Mm hmm like it. Now what I'm curious about, because what you don't want to happen is oh, another recruitment agency. I don't need to click on this. I don't need them, blah, blah, blah. So now how do we make this more customizable? Make these seem like we know the person, know the person we are sending these to. Let's see what happens. Oh, now this I'm excited about. Remember, I have not done this yet, <laughs> not for this particular moment, um, but it's really great. And this is why I wanted you to see how many different prompts we can do, what can work. And there's so many different things, by the way, that you could do. I just wanted you guys to see how truly powerful, because here's the thing. Um, in all of my years of teaching people how to do biz dev, the thing, this is something that they just 
shy away from the most. And the reason why is because they feel like they're not creative enough. Okay, well, now you have someone to help you be creative. So hopefully as you're reading these, and I would take more time, by the way, this is just to do the share screen quickly, but I would take more time and I would be like, okay, which one resonates with me? Which one would I want to open? Okay, that's what's really important. Um, and so like, you can keep going back and forth with all of these. So like, let's just say, um, John, let's find your next top, top tech talent with Talent Perch. To me, I like it, but I don't love it. So I'm going to keep going down. Let Talent Perch build your dream tech team. Again, this is this to me isn't even isn't even creative enough. Dream tech team. It means I'm trying to find the purple squirrel, the perfect talent. Everybody says those things. So I'm not digging it yet. Um, so I would keep going and going and going. The only one from this particular thing um, I would say is unlock exponential growth. Elizabeth, no, I still don't love it. Sourcing top tech talent made easy. Peter with now, so I'm sorry, I don't even love it. So actually, I love some of these more. I actually might love them without talent perch in them, perhaps. And the only reason why is because who's talent perch? You know, so that's definitely something you have to think about. So I'm going to now tell it, let's scratch it. Um, let's see, what do I want to say? I want to say, um, give me the most opened subject lines. Let's just see that. Of course, they say it's difficult, but they're still going to give you some tips. I don't want tips. Give me some. Although, actually, I will say these tips are fantastic. Personalize, ask a question, create urgencies. Here we go. Limited time. So it's, of course, going to be very focused on, oh, they're still using Talent Perch. Yay, chat GPT. I thought I was going to have to make it go back to that. Okay. All right. I like it. Don't settle for mediocre talent. So here's the interesting thing is that ChatGPT is still, um, I don't want to say old because it's new, but it's still using older information. So like, even if I asked like what the current trends are, they wouldn't know. So this is what actually excites me about this particular AI function is because you as a recruiter know what the trends are. And the trends right now are companies are still looking for passive talent. So how are you going to showcase that? Um, I would perhaps showcase that in a different way. Um, so, but anyways, this is really cool. Okay. Let's just move on for that. Cause you guys get it. You guys get how you can keep going, keep, um, keep building, keep changing. So let's go in a different one. Let's do a biz dev sequence. Um, give me a biz dev sequence. Let's see to get clients for me, a tech recruiter. And like, let's put my LinkedIn again. Let's just see what happens. Now for me, actually, I have a lot of great biz dev sequences. So I really encourage you guys doing your own first and then putting it in here because I actually um, have found better results putting my own sequence in here and having ChatGPT make them better. But what is it doing here? Here's a potential biz dev sequence. Oh, I see. Uh-huh create a list of potential clients using LinkedIn. Oh, I don't, it didn't really get me. Okay. So now I'm going to say a biz dev email. So I need an email for a potential client that I want to recruit for, recruit for. Now let's see. There we go. I guess I should have said template. There we go. Subject tech recruiting services, which you definitely don't want to do first and foremost. I came across your company while researching business and Blake's sector was impressed by your innovative approach as a tech recruiter with Blake numbers of experience and specialized in identifying and tracking top talent. I want to reach out to see you to see if you uh, might need recruiting services. Okay. So this is massively long. So again, this is why a bot cannot totally replace us, but I'm going to say too long, please narrow it down too long. Please narrow it down and base it off my company. And then we're going to put down perch in here again. And I like to put the URL because you know, no, no, this little bot gets its info from. <laughs> okay. I guess we do. <laughs> okay. Shorter email based on your company. So what we still have to make sure, and again, feel free to look back at past videos that I have is, um, how do we get straight short to the point? Like in my opinion, that's still too long. 
I still wouldn't send something that long and it doesn't have any personalization. So I always, um, if you've watched the channel for a while, I always make sure that I do something around my universal language, which is vacations. <laughs> so I want to like ask about them. I want to start building a relationship. You can't build rapport without some kind of relationship, right? It's super important. Um, so also I feel like there needs to be questions in here. Like right now, this message is just kind of talking at the person. So make some, or put some questions, put some questions in here to start a conversation. So now let's see. Okay. How is your company currently approaching tech talent acquisition? What are the biggest challenges? Ooh, I like this. So, you know, you can put those questions in there. Ooh, I like some of these questions. Ooh, yay. Okay. So that's good. Now what it didn't do though, is it didn't just automatically input it into our message, which takes a little work, but guess what? It's easy. It's still fast. It's still sometimes much faster than you like scratching your head and trying to figure out what you're going to say. So what would even be interesting too, is to grab a job description. So like, let's just say, again, you know, I'm in tech. So let's say I, I want to place, um, I'm doing my biz dev for Python. So I want to place Python engineers at multiple different clients, right? That's my, my niche in this moment. And so I could probably put in a job description and I could say, how would I pitch a client, um, a candidate to this client? That's its own separate thing, own separate video. I will get into that because that sounds really fun. Um, but okay. So I feel like based off of, um, the message up here, I'm still going to cut it down. I'm still going to put in some questions. And so what I would do from here, and I'll say, I'll save you the moment here on, on uh, video is I'm going to now do my own messages, pick one to two questions and tops. Because again, when you do a sequence though, um, you have to assume that they haven't read your message. And so I'm going to do six email reach outs or six reach outs via LinkedIn, whatever I choose. I, right now I'm liking LinkedIn, but if you ask me in a month, I might say email. So go back and forth, AB test this for sure. And I actually, since I do six, I could probably grab six questions or maybe I'll just do three and I'll alternate it because they probably didn't actually read my message. So I'm gonna take those. I'm gonna take the above message. I'm gonna Brianify it. Okay. Um, put my personality in here, use this bada bing, bada boom. It's an amazing message. If I want to see, could it be better? I'm going to put it back in here and say, how could this be better? Um, now I know it's that chat GPT is going to be like, how do I know if it's going to be better? Well, I'm just going to say, Hey, make this catchier, make this shorter, make this more compelling, make this sound smarter. There's other different, you know, things that prompts that you can put in here that I think would be really great. So that's that. All right. Now let's go to a new one. And I, by the way, I always make sure that I do a new chat because then the, the bot is like confused, shutting down. Okay. Now I want to sit, do um, a connection request, uh, which there's a couple different ways to do this. Do you want to just willy nilly connect with someone on LinkedIn and then message them when they connect? Or do you want to send them a message with the connection? So therefore when they connect with you, they automatically get your message. There's two thoughts on this. And honestly, I go back and forth. I AB test it all the time, which is definitely what I recommend. I do not think there's a right or wrong way here. Um, if you do not put a message with the connection request, please, please make sure you are looking at your LinkedIn report. You're going to your connections and you're seeing who's connected with you in the last week. You should not forget to message them within two to three days of them connecting. So make sure you're holding yourself accountable to that. You do not want to waste a connection. Okay. So, um, let's see, I want to send a connection request via LinkedIn to a potential client. Let's see. So I like to start fairly broad because I want to see like, okay, can I learn something? Okay. Look, actually LinkedIn's trying to, to teach me something. <laughs> I want that message. Okay. So again, I wasn't really clear. See how you can see these prompts really nicely. Okay. Now send me a message that I should send with the request. So I bet you it's going to be really customer servicey, which as you know, I don't love. So let's see. Oh yeah. Hope this message finds you well. Oh, what a filler. I came across your profile. Duh. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, but I do like it. Impressed by your experience in X field as someone who's also passionate about ooh, related interest. I like that. I'd like to connect with you and learn more about your work. Again, there's no question here. Like I get we're just connecting. That's fine. But this is eh. thank you for considering my request. And I look forward to hearing back from you. Okay. Uh, considering my request is ridiculous. So there's lots of filler here, which I'm actually so happy I just did this on the fly. So you can see why you have to think, you have to still think like a hungry tiger recruiter that you are, um, because that's just too passive, okay? So I'm actually gonna say too passive, be more direct and ask a question. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> Came across your profile. Notice that we share a similar background in blank. I'm impressed by your accomplishment in this field. Love to connect, learn more about your experiences. In particular, I'm interested in hearing how you approached something, the subject. I would greatly appreciate the opportunity to connect with you and discuss this further. Okay, there was no question in there, but I gotta tell you, I really like this. I'm interested in hearing about your approach to what? This is a little more time consuming. So I don't know how you could duplicate this a lot, but I do dig it. So um, this is my profile. I'm gonna put that again. Use this in the message. And oh, hold on, let's just do that first. Let's see what it says. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's giving me the same exact thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, AI bot for nothing. Okay, um, so now let's, okay. I need this message to get clients and pitch my service while also solving their hiring problems. So I'm asking for a lot here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I understand that finding the right talent for your company can be a challenging process. I'm here to help with my expertise. So here's the thing. This is way too long. This is why I wanted to start with a, a connection request. There's no way you can send all this. I think it has to be max um, 300, uh, 300 characters. This be a max of, I think, off the top of my head. Let's see. Maybe it's even 200. Oh. Specialized in recruiting and hiring for blank companies. Let's connect to discuss how my expertise can benefit your company's hiring process. Now tweak it to say, to talk about me filling software engineering roles um, and doing it with passive candidates. Because that's the whole thing. Everyone wants passive candidates. So now I know that's trend. Let's see what happens. I specialize in recruiting top software engineers, including Pat. Still don't love it. With my expertise, I can streamline your hiring process and bring in the best talent. Yes. Okay. So again, as you've seen throughout this entire video, sorry, it's so long at this point, but it's been really fun, um, is there's some tidbits that I like and there's things I don't. So this is, again, where your brain puts it all together because you know better. So I streamline hiring process and bring in the best talent, the best, I would say, passive talent. I think that's super crucial. Let's connect, discuss how I can help your company. Um, I would even maybe, like, I like to go back to ROI, like how I can move the needle for your company, how I can help you grow and leave you to do what you do best. So what I like to get through is I do recruiting best, you do that best. <laughs> you do you, I do me, you know? And so I think that that's what's really important is to grasp in here. And so um, I am starting to now like the message. So keep going on this, keep giving them exact and don't stop. You can keep going. Now, if you are not getting anywhere, I definitely, again, suggest doing the new chat and doing that. Okay, so here's what I decided to do. <laughs> I, because I'm just so impatient and I just have to show you, here's my actual connection request. With all the layoffs, is it any easier to hire or is too much noise? We'd love to help you hire if you need it. We can act as a contingency solution or an embedded solution where you can use our tech recruiters as your own for as long as you need. Either way, let's connect. I just sent you an email. I'd love to partner with you on hiring. This is one of my actual connection requests. Um, so I just put it in here all willy nilly. Just wanted to see what chat would come back with. 
um, and it actually came back with a potential message on how I would do that. So now I need it to stay condensed. But what was cool is what you saw was here's my connection request. Now I can also make it into a message. So you need both. You need as many different touches as you can. And remember that they probably didn't read it, right? Okay. So I actually like what it, what it put together. It's not bad, right? But I still like use this, use these paragraph, use this paragraph. Oh my gosh. I can't even type. Use this paragraph um, to come up with a more creative message just as long. Okay. Ah, that's silly. Wrong one. Here we go. Okay. So. All right, here we go. Let's see. With the current job market hiring can be a daunting task. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. We can help make it easier for you. Our team of techs. Why is it still so big? Uh, make it 300 characters. Okay, so let's see. Again, you don't have to, you can put, hey, first name, like, of course. Um, okay, hiring in this current job market can be challenging, but our tech, expert tech recruiters can make it easier for you. We offer contingency and embedded solutions to help you find the best talent, even among all the noise with the layoffs. Let's connect and discuss how we can partner with you on your hiring journey. Um, I would have to see if that is too big, which I'll do it a different time. I'll, I'll, I'll save you the, save you the time. You guys can, can pick that up. Um, of course I wouldn't put best regards. I put cheers, Brianna. That's my jam. Um, but whatever works for you in, in connection requests, you don't even have to like say your name, you know, it's just, you're just trying to get as much in there as absolute possible. Um, so hope you had fun with this. Uh, I really encourage you again, to put your current messages in this and ask how you can make it more creative, more punchy, um, more, or, it may be more salesy. I guess that is the end of our share screen. So you can definitely use chat GPT in your favor with doing biz dev for your own recruiting purposes. Have fun with it. You saw me play with it. I wanted you to see again, right off the cusp, my real thought process. Um, there's a lot more you can do with this. I can do with this. And so I'll do lots of different um, demos on this. Some I will have already practiced and some I'm just going to willy nilly do it because I think it's important to see both ways. All right. Have fun. See you next week.